second week of testimony in the trial of Stephen Avery focused on physical evidence, who found it, then how and when it was collected. Avery and his nephew Brendan Dassey are accused of murdering Teresa Holbach on Halloween of 2005 and then burning her body. Now, Avery was convicted of rape in 1985 and exonerated in 2003 by DNA evidence. Dassey also faces a sexual assault charge, though. A charge filed against Avery was dropped before trial started due to a lack of physical evidence. Now, forensic scientist John Ertl from the Wisconsin State Crime Lab started testimony this week. Ertl looked through burn barrels in Stephen Avery's burn pit. Ertl said he also tested the floor in Avery's garage. The prosecution believes Avery shot Holbach in that garage. Avery's attorney, Jerome Butin, pointed out that mistakes may have been made. Now, Calumet County Sheriff uh, Sergeant Bill Tyson testified that the Manitowoc County Sheriff's deputies involved in the initial investigation all acted professionally at the crime scene at all times. By the way, the three of you didn't plant any blood while you were doing that, did you? No. On Tuesday, Avery's defense grilled Sergeant Tyson. Tyson said he was ordered to supervise Manitowoc County Sheriff's Sergeant Andy Colborn, Lieutenant Jim Link, and Detective Dave Remaker as they searched Avery's trailer. That, of all places, you knew was important that you make sure that these Manitowoc officers not be alone. Correct. And so you kept an eye on them, didn't you? I was watching what they were doing, yes. Had you ever, in any of your years as an officer, had to watch the officers who were searching where you were to make sure that they weren't alone? No. Items seized that night, handcuffs, leg irons, and a notebook listing Holbach's cell phone number. Jerome Butin focused on what wasn't found, though, the key to Holbach's car. And would you agree with me that it was, would have been very difficult for Lieutenant Link or Sergeant Colburn to have planted a Toyota key in that residence under your watch? I believe it would have been difficult. All right, our legal analyst Rob Bellin joins us now. And Rob, uh, you know, they're talking about evidence the first couple days of the trial. There's some, uh, actually some real bizarre circumstances here. Like you heard, this is the first time that uh, Mr. Tyson ever had to watch other officers yeah. do their job. So that sort of supports the fact that, uh, you know, even Calumet County may have seen there could be some problems with Manitowoc. Um, however, they counter that with Tyson saying, I, I did watch them. I'm an unbiased, you know, in, in investigator here, and there's no way that they could have done anything on my watch. All right. That was a theme that came up quite often. 